morning, everyone. Hope everyone is having an incredible day. I cannot wait to bring you all along with me. I have made it to beautiful Wyoming and I got to ride Jackson Hole and I, I got taken to one of the biggest jumps of my life. I can't wait to share if I was able to hit the jump or if I safely said, you know what, maybe I'm just not ready for this jump. I'm going to have to come back another time. Let's go. All right, so True Grit and Bandit so far have been super, super fun. <laughs> These jumps are super good. You do not need that much speed at all. So fun. Probably one of my favorites. What's up everyone? Hope you're enjoying the video so far. So I just did Bandit. That's probably one of my favorite trails out here. Um, jumpy, flowy, but I am going to the tippy top top right now because we are gonna do Dirty Harry. Apparently this is one of the most difficult trails out here. I did see a video, it's super rocky and steep and very, very loose, but I'm gonna film it first go and we're gonna do it together. So I am a little nervous, but <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so here we are, dropping into Dirty Harry. <laughs> Seriously, this thing has like danger. Enter at your own risk, steep drop ahead, most difficult, warning, stop. I mean, it's got it all. It's making me a little nervous. Here we go. All right, so far so good. <laughs> literally two seconds into the trail <laughs> just a lot of rocks you just have to pick your line oh that could have been a nice jump whoa what is this yeah okay, keep your composure whoa whoa okay you got it nice nice whoa what's this okay okay this is cool whoa Okay, I did probably stop in one of the worst spots, but this is what it is. Just a lot of rocks everywhere. Pick your line. I think I'm gonna go this way and uh, looks pretty straightforward, but we'll see how it goes. Oh gosh. Woo. Oh my goodness. That was sketchy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh man, dirty Harry, hey, oh. you are dirty, gosh this is crazy, it's not that crazy, it's just, I don't know where I'm going, this is always how it goes first run, but it is pretty bad, very loose, um, just got to Look ahead, pick your lines. I suggest you keep momentum. That's gonna help you get through all the chunky stuff. Whoa! All right, so I have a little bit of a mechanical. I'm kind of leaking sealant. It's through the valve. It's not the tire. <laughs> Kendas are going strong, but I'm in the middle of the trail and now I have to hike down. But that was pretty much what this trail is all about. There's a lot of jumps and a lot of little drops here so far. Oh, sick. That was cool.
just gotta know where all those rocks are. Oh my gosh! You cannot pull your brain. <laughs> all right, this little section has got to be one of my favorites. Oh my God, that was so cool. <laughs> what a day, back to the parking lot, heading back to the van after an epic day of riding. Unlocking my Thule lock, which always keeps me safe and secure. I have seriously ridden from open to close. It's probably 10 minutes to close and I just figured I'm smoked. Heading back to the van, gonna get some food, load up, take all my gear off and yeah, make some dinner, fix this hair of mine, but it's been a good day. Jackson Hole, if you're in the area, definitely come check this place out. All right, so this is me getting ready to go to sleep. I put my decoration pillows over to the corner. I set my real pillows here and got my iPad because I might be watching a movie. This is the controller for the air conditioning. I turn it on and off throughout the night when it gets hot. And this is a headlamp because my little night light battery ran out, so I'm using a headlamp. But yep, this is it. Now I get into bed and it's a uh... good night. Jackson Hole was absolutely incredible. But the next day, I got to meet with a local rider, Rachel Long, which is now a good friend of mine. She got to take me through some local trails that I've been wanting to ride. And she even took me to the infamous Teton Pass Ravine Gap Jump. This thing was huge. I cannot wait to show you. Let's go. All right, so we're at the top of Lithium. This is the beginning. From the start, this trail was absolutely beautiful. The views were stunning and the trails were really, really fun and flowy. And then, of course, that flow turned into rocky, steep, loose, but super fun. Woo! Oh, so steep. All right, we got up to a rock drop. You got around, you can go around that way. But usually you just go fast from here and you go into the turn. But we're gonna try to slow down right here, go this way, and then try and hop onto this rock and ride it down. Oh man. This looks sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do what I just showed you guys. <laughs> All right, so we just shuttled, got the van following Rachel in her truck. We parked up at the top over here. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go to another pullout and see if we can check out the jumps. <laughs> yep. All right, beginning of the jump trail, we got a nice little jump there that has a gap and then a step up that you have to go off and land over there, but the gap's a little scary. But it's good, these jumps are so nice. All right, we made it to the ravine gap jump. Thing, but we got a drop that we have to get through and it's like a log very awkward so you have to hop off and go into a turn all right this is the back side of it 
we're right there is where we have to hop off. Just trust yourself. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, that was, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the infamous ravine gap jump. This is pretty big. That is the takeoff, and you have to land over here. But it's a very beautiful, beautiful view. Very nice. It's huge. <laughs> Gosh, that looks massive. <laughs> All right, so made it back to the ravine gap jump. This is a nice drop right before it. And then you have the jump right there. Lip and landing up the top. <clears throat> Pretty nervous, but uh, we're going to get this done. I'm going to see Rachel hit it right now, and then uh, I'm going to go after. Easy. All right, so this is another look here. Rachel just did it nice and smooth. Want to get all the speed there. And then, yeah, use your judgment going off this lip. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm pretty nervous. But I'm going to get this. All the confidence. I've been visualizing this for a few days now. And visualizing is key. You just want to mentally see yourself. Oh, this is an awful view. Wow, my heart's racing. I'm so nervous. But it's okay. We got this. Just pedal. Trust yourself. Okay, drop it! This was hands down one of the greatest feelings ever. I honestly did not think I was going to hit this jump, but I did. After that jump, we weren't done yet. This trail went on and we had to tick off some more features and some more jumps. And this was the next one, the boner log. You have to get all your speed here, balance on this skinny log, and then jump off. All right, this is... The boner log gap, and then some jumps. Whoa! <laughs> Whew. So, this is the end of the trail. Spits us out to here, and then we pedal all this back to one of our cars. I am smoked from today's ride. Lithium was an absolute blast, but I am showered, cleaned up, and ready for a good dinner. I have a good friend of mine recommend this place called Local, so I'm gonna go check it out. Let's go see uh, what this place is all about. <laughs> So cool and convenient. They have a parking lot specifically for vans and RVs. What's up everyone? Currently leaving Wyoming, but I had to stop on the side of the road and just take in this view. Check it out. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. What a day. 
what an incredible time that was. If you enjoyed this video and want more, please hit that subscribe, comment, share, like, do all those incredible things. I would greatly appreciate everyone. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you have not yet, get out and ride your bike. Catch you on the next video, everyone.